Hey, this is a trumpet lesson video on how to expand your range and flexibility with some good old fashioned lip slurs. In this particular trumpet tutorial, these are often overlooked lip slurs, three lip slurs that are overlooked. And I would actually call these a stealth technique. Now, why am I coming up with this? Well, I have taught now in 2018 over just barely but over 1,500 private individual students. That's individual different students over the years. One common theme that I noticed, even amongst those who could play high C, high D, high E, and then others, of course, that had difficulty playing those notes, all these players had trouble with three lip slurs on the horn from D to F, E flat to G flat, otherwise known as D sharp to F sharp, and E to G. We're not talking about the super duper high ones. We're talking about right near the top of the staff. You might want to use this to check yourself. If you have problems with those lip slurs that I just mentioned, you really need to watch the rest of this tutorial. In fact, I want you to play along with me. Use the metronome. The metronome is very critical because it will show you if you are increasing your speed or not. And of course, we do want to increase our speed cleanly. So now enjoy working along and expanding your range and flexibility. All right, here we go. This is gonna be the sheet starting on D to F. So the whole thing, all the exercises here will be in first valve. And I have the trusty metronome set to 120. The quarter note equals 120. Now, in your own practice, you can do the repeats as many times as you feel like. For right now, we're not going to adhere to the repeats just for time. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. And you can go back and repeat this on your own if you like. No, those were court or half notes, then quarter notes. Now we're in eighth notes. Second line. One, two, three. And again, you can go back and repeat that as many times as you wish. Now, those were all slurs. The first line, the second line. Now, you'll notice that there's no articulation delineation on the third line. They're all 16th notes with a big arc over all of it. And that is going to be our lips trill section. So it's not interrupted by any kind of articulation. And it's that ay 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 movement back and forth. A one, two, three. Or you could go back and you don't really have to tongue on the second measure. So let me just do several of them in a row. One, two, three. John, two, three. Okay, 16th notes. Now for you advanced and pro players, you could ratchet it up one more notch, right? To uh, 30 second notes. And this is just the bonus. That should be pretty close to 30 second notes. But for everybody else, um, you'll just stick with the 16th notes that we have written on the page. Let's move on to the next sheet, which would be D sharp to F sharp. Again, these are the three most troublesome lip slurs on the horn. And if you can really work on these and get them down, I promise things are gonna be so much better all over the horn, but especially in the upper register. So now everything here will be second valve. If you happen to observe on the first sheet, everything was first valve, right? So now everything here will be second valve. Here's the first line. The, the metronome has still been banging away at 120. One, two, three. And there you got a couple measures of rest and you can go back and repeat this as many times as you want. Moving on to the second line, eighth notes. One, two, three. Okay, you 
get your two measures of rest. And the third line, our good old fashioned lip trills. And you could, I, I personally wouldn't break up the two measures here with a tongue, although that's the way it's written, isn't it? But uh, personally, I'd just, just sail on through and probably go as many times as I could in one breath. Oh, two. Oh, by the way, you notice a two below the exercise and a bunch of dashes and then a two and a bunch of dashes. That just simply means to play everything second bells. Oh, one, two, three. Okay, and then for you advanced and pro players, one, two, three. Should be pretty close to 30 seconds on those. Moving along to the last sheet. And this is the last one. And the highest of the three. Starting on E, and I already told you the, the second sheet was all second valve. Well, this last sheet is going to be all open. And we still have the metronome banging away at 120. Quarter note equals 120. It's the same format, so let's go ahead and tackle this one. So I'm going to E to G now. Oh, one, two, three. And then you got your rest there. You go back and repeat. And second line. One, two, three. Rest a couple measures. Go back and repeat. And the last line. Our good friend, the lip trill. One, two, three. And for you advanced and pro players, the bonus round, 30 second notes. One, two, three. All right. I hope you really enjoyed working along with me on these three different lip slurs. You're going to get something out of it. I guarantee for the investment of practice time on these three lip slurs, you will see an increase in your range and a big bump up in flexibility and facility all over the horn. Keep track of your metronome progress. Give this a couple of months. Make it part of your normal routine. Leave your fantastic positive comments as to what happened to your playing down below in the review. Give this video a like. If you found value in this video, you can go over to Patreon and I'll include a little way to do that right now. Please go over to Patreon, become a supporter, support my channel and my work and what I'm doing. I really need your help. Thank you so much. This is Kurt Thompson. Thank you.